Good evening, Walter Zagrevich with my nightly update on Ukraine. And would you join me tonight? Well, it's the evening here on the West Coast of the United States. It may be morning where you are at if you are watching in Ukraine, or it may be latest night here in the East Coast of the U.S. Thank you for joining me. I got a very interesting message from Ukraine today. It said, everything is fine over here if it wasn't for the war and the rockets that keep falling. Well, um, they're unfortunately kind of getting used to it, but they are concerned. And we are concerned for those rockets that continue to fall in places like Kharkiv, places like Mykolaiv, and other parts of Ukraine. And uh, we're so thankful for the fact that some people were set free and let go from Mariupol. If you haven't seen it, check my post, the video of the wonderful reception that was given to them when they arrived there in Zaporizhia. Our friends, pastors in that area, volunteers are feeding, caring for them and helping them as they move on towards Western Ukraine. Thank you for praying. That is an answer to prayer. We have been praying that people would be let out from Mariupol, and some have been. Let's pray for the rest of them to be let out of Mariupol and for those in the army that are stuck underneath that steel plant to be able to safely get out of there. Uh, let's uh, pray for other parts of Ukraine. Pray for Pastor Sergei, who is loading up, getting ready to leave for a very dangerous area that was just liberated uh, by the Ukrainian forces in the Kharkiv region. He's heading out there with food supplies, medicines, because they desperately, desperately need those. Pray for him. Pray for other pastors like that who are putting their lives on the line to take the necessary help to those in the occupied regions, to those in the frontline cities, and those in the recently uh, liberated cities, and in other areas that are very, very difficult. So join me in prayer right now. Heavenly Father, we come to you in that name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. And we know that we have authority in that name. And so we exercise that authority and we bind the rulers of darkness of this age over the area of Ukraine and Russia, over the region. Those spiritual forces that are holding people hostage do not want to let them be go free. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we bind those spirits and we loosen the spirit of peace, the spirit of salvation, healing, and deliverance into the atmosphere over Ukraine and over the region. Lord God, we pray for the freedom of the nation of Ukraine. We pray, oh God, that those occupiers would leave or be removed quickly from the soil of that nation. We pray, O oh God, for your protection on the frontline pastors, uh, the frontline volunteers who continue to carry food, medicine, supplies to the bombed out cities, to the recently re uh, liberated cities, to those cities that are under siege, to those areas that are very dangerous. Father, protect them, keep them, guide them, Use them, O oh God, not only to bring the bread of the, the physical bread, but the bread of life, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that as they travel, that you would protect them, that your angel wings would cover them from above, from beneath, from the left, from the right, from the front, from the back, and that you would create a covering over them as they travel, as they get there, while they're on the ground unloading and while they're loading up evacuees, and then heading back into safe areas. Protect them, I pray right now. Father, I thank you for those answers to prayer, like the people being set free from Mariupol. I pray, oh God, that the rest of the people there, civilians and Ukrainian military, will be let go, will be set free 
to safety in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for Pastor Igor Mikolai of his wife. We pray that you would touch them, that you would heal their hearts, that you would give them strength. We know that the stress of the bombings constantly have an effect on people. We pray that you would fill their hearts with peace, strength, and health. And Lord, use them as they continue to minister to the needy in Mikolai and surrounding areas. Father, we thank you for those that are coming to you in Mikolaev, in Kharkiv, in Kiev, all over the nation, people uh, that are turning to you and finding salvation, finding peace, finding solace in you. Father, I pray for those families that are separated, and many are, where the husband, the, the, uh, where the father or the husband or the brother is in Ukraine defending the nation, but their family is someplace dispersed around the world. I pray for your re for reunification of those families quickly. I pray for the health of those families. I pray for the security of the women and children that are all over, not just Western Ukraine, but all over Europe and even in America and Canada and other parts of the world. Father, I pray that, that they will soon be reunited. Father, I pray again that you would give a spirit of repentance to the Russian soldiers who continue to bombard, who continue to kill and steal and destroy. I pray, oh God, that you would convict them by your Holy Spirit and they would say, no, we will not continue to kill, maim, and rape the people of this nation, that they would put down their arms and go back to their homes. If they refuse to do that, Father, I pray that you would remove them, that you would push them back, and you would cause their equipment, their bullets not to uh, function, their guns to not function, their tanks to uh, break down, their airplanes not to be able to fly over Ukraine, and their bombs and their rockets and their uh, different types of uh, uh, ordnance that they're shooting at Ukraine, that it would be ineffective in the name of Jesus Christ if it should reach any people, that it would not explode. And Lord God, we just pray for a covering over the entire nation of Ukraine. And Father, we thank you that you have and you do hear our prayers and you continue to answer prayer. We thank you for the many, many testimonies of your divine intervention, your divine protection. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, I pray for revival. I pray for a great move of God in the nation of Ukraine. Out of the rubble, I thank you for revival. I thank you for the salvation, not of hundreds, not of thousands, but of millions of souls. I thank you for that. And I pray, I pray for the church in Russia, that they would unite with the church in Ukraine in prayer, in agreement, binding the principalities and rulers of darkness that are causing this war and releasing peace into the atmosphere and inviting the rule of God, the governance of God into the region. Region. Father, I pray for those that may, at the sound of my voice, who may need a touch of healing right now, put your hand where you're suffering. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, you have paid, Jesus has paid for my healing and the healing of those who are at the sound of my voice. And by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, I command that pain, I command that sickness to leave your body right now. And I speak healing over you. May the power of God encompass you. May the power of God fill you, touch you, and heal you totally and completely from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet in Jesus' name. Amen. If you don't know Jesus as your Savior, invite him into your life right now. Just say, Lord God, I know I'm a sinner. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe he died on the cross for me, and I receive him as my Lord and my Savior. If you pray that sincerely, he will come into your heart. He will forgive your sins. He will make you a new person. Well, thank you for joining me. If you want to donate towards the humanitarian relief efforts, please go to my to our webpage globalvisionministries.org globalvisionministries.org and des uh, press a donate button and please uh, designate Ukraine 100% of what you designate for Ukraine 
is going to Ukraine. Thank you to all of you who have already contributed. Um, you've made a tremendous impact. Thanks to you, thousands have been fed. Many have been, thousands have been evacuated and many have heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let's continue to be the hands and the feet of Jesus in this hour in the nation of Ukraine. God richly bless you. Join me tomorrow morning on our Spanish broadcast, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon, and missionary evangelist Tony Aber will be on with me. So we are going to do a bilingual broadcast in English and Spanish. So if you speak English or Spanish, you can understand tomorrow's broadcast. Don't forget, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God richly bless you.